Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidekick Guru. In this video, I'm going to compare the aptic feedback comparison between the Realme GT Neo 2 versus Realme Exxon Max device. So this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers, ask me to compare both phones. The main reason is because the Realme GT Neo 2 which has got the fantastic aptic feedback. Yes, it's really very strong and powerful. It's nothing like the same as the Realme other phones. Yes, I can definitely say that. As soon as I started to use this aptic feedback, I did like this aptic feedback. It's quite strong. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. How much powerful it is when compared with the Realme Exxon Max device. Can you actually feel the difference or not? So let me know in the comment section below friends, what are your thoughts and don't get me wrong, even the Realme Exxon Max also has got really good powerful aptic feedback. That's also a fantastic thing. If you want to experience the aptic feedback in the Realme Exxon Max, try to go to the gain space option which is present here. So once you go to the gain space, try to go to the 4D vibrations. So there's an option 4D vibration, try to click try now. Here, whenever you click the try now, try to hold the phone on the top side and the bottom side. So which has got really very good aptic feedback. So that, don't get me wrong, but this Realme GT Neo 2 has got slightly strong aptic feedback, slightly kind of premium wala aptic feedback. That's what I did experience while using in the Realme GT Neo 2. But right now, let's see, let me try to use the keyboard and let me try to type a couple of things and then I'll be able to compare side by side. So for that first you should know what kind of aptic intensity I'm trying to use, vibration intensity between both phones as you can see everything is perfectly set to the strong points. So highest, highest value I did set in both phones, let me to show you more aptic feedbacks as you can see everything. So the aptic feedback I did set to the high value and now let me need to select the type and let me need to type something. So during this process, I'll try to keep the mic exactly on the keyboard of this phone. So during this time, you'll be able to understand how much aptic feedback sound you can actually hear. So right now, the time is about close to, I think, midnight or uh, 1245. This is the main reason why I thought of recording during this midnight time, because there won't be any kind of disturbance or any kind of vehicle sounds. So that's the reason why I thought of uh, staying this too late. And uh, let me need to start the test. So right now, the test has been started. Let me need to keep start typing. Now let me need to type on the Realme Exxon Max. This is the Realme Exxon Max which I am trying to keep. Let's see what happens on the Realme Exxon Max. So these two have the those kind of strong aptic feedback but they are like kind of different aptic feedbacks feeling. You will get the very different aptic feedbacks. That's it, this is a quick comparison which I thought just uh, demonstrating you so you get, get a, a clear idea what is going on between these both phones in terms of the aptic feedbacks. Let me know in the conversation below friends what do you think about these both phones. So which aptics do you feel is really powerful and strong enough. So let me know in the conversation below. And that's it friends thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for updates. So meanwhile signing off and don't forget to check the playlist for more information. Until then, bye.